So hello everyone, my name is Mark and welcome to a new video on my channel. In this video I'm going to show you the best way uh, to play with the best 4 star team in a game in my opinion, as far as I know uh, at this moment. Um, uh, it's PSV Eindhoven as you can see in the example. My opponent uh, dropped his controller and didn't play anymore because he was so uh, desperate I think uh, because he couldn't create any chances, well almost non chances so um, it's a really wonderful team really wonderful formation and I'm gonna show you all about it the formation the tactics the lineup and the instructions but first of all I want to thank you very much for watching of course drop a like under the video if you think this is useful if you're new to my channel make sure you will subscribe to it so you don't miss any new videos I'm posting and if you have to say something or want to ask me something or maybe try it out yourself or maybe you have another uh opinion uh another team that's the best four star in your eyes uh, let me know and uh, maybe i can uh, uh test it myself um well it's psv eindhoven they have some lovely players of course four star team um the formation a 4-3-3 attacking formation uh the lineup zoot is the goalkeeper 97 uh 79 i need to say uh goalkeeper really good uh he's not the first keeper at the moment at psv but uh, in the game he is the best uh, goalkeeper uh in this team so you need to select him right defender dumfries really good defender uh 80 pace is enough physical really wonderful 87 and defending 76 it's uh it's just okay then we're going to the center back uh the first one that is swap uh he's not that fast also uh, but it's not really necessary. Then we have Viergever as the other center back. And at the left side, we have Sadi Lek. They are all just decent defenders. Um, then the midfielders, uh, we have Gutierrez here. And uh, the other one is Thomas. Two central midfielders. Then the attacking midfielder is Barrero. And the right attacker is Bruma. Here he is, Bruma. Uh, he can play also on the left, also on the right. The same for Bergwijn at the left. Uh, he can also play at the left or at the right. Um, it doesn't matter that much uh, which player you put on, uh, on what side. Um, but I decided to put Bruma on the right and Bergwijn on the left. But if you prefer to switch them, uh, be my guest. It doesn't matter that much. Uh, then we're going to the striker it's Malen really wonderful uh, three star weak foot four star skill moves all attackers have four star skill moves so that's pretty pretty uh, nice to have they're all fast all about 90 pace all four star skill moves so if you'd like to do some skills and you want a four star team this is the team you need to pick uh, here you can see Malen uh, this is my favorite trick my favorite skill move uh, the Berbatov spin uh, it's really wonderful to do uh, it's really easy to do and it's so effective most of the time so that that's my favorite one and you can all only do that with four star uh, skill move players so that's why I choose uh, PSV uh, here you have Bergwijn two star weak foot only but four star skill moves also so that's it for the lineup let's go to the tactics I choose drop back and as you can see here uh, with Two central defense of uh, two central midfielders. I'm gonna show you. They are here. They are here. And here you have the defenders online. The wingers are coming back. Pereiro is a little bit back. The attacking midfielder. And as you can see here, he doesn't have any options to play the ball. Uh, yeah, he can cross the ball, but most of the times that's not a good option. And here he tries to pass, but my midfielders are. Uh, getting that and it's it's pretty compact uh, it's it's hard for my opponent to pass the ball when he gets to the box and create chances so pretty wonderful formation and players for PSV at the defense here you can see another one he does, does a skill move he passed Viergever but Sadilek with the uh, yeah with the depth and the width only four five bars uh, width not too wide so the left and the right defender are coming inside the box and uh, do their job as Sadilek does in the example then balanced offensive style uh, it's a mix 
of course that's why it's balanced between possession and sometimes fast build up or long ball so you can counter attack but as you can see here there's almost always an option to play the ball to and here we have Marlon great shot and a wonderful goal the first goal in this match uh, with five bars plays in the box six bars free kicks corners both three bars now we're going to the instructions Dumfries uh, balanced attack and overlap uh, he can be pretty handy uh, at the attack sometimes he's running forward does his job really good uh, with the overlap runs so uh, let him do his job there not too much attacking but sometimes when it's needed uh, Schwab and Viergeber just default Sadilek stay back while attacking he isn't really good at attacking so he needs to stay back and uh, yeah have some balance in your squad then we have Gutierrez only thing I changed is stay on the edge of the box and cover center and then we have Thomas stay back while attacking so he's the most defensive midfielder stay on the edge of the box for the cross and cover center then we have Barrero uh, I changed nothing he's just default then we have Bruma uh, get in behind and get into the box for the cross then we go to Malen stay central get in behind and as you can see here, Schwab on the ball, Sadilek, he has the ball, pass it to Ihataran, he was sub uh, Gutierrez and here he is staying central and he is fast and he can shoot really good. The shooting st uh, stats aren't that good for a top striker, but Malen is better than his shooting stats uh, saying, uh, in my opinion. He's a really wonderful, wonderful striker. Then we have Bergwijn. Um, stay on the edge of nice, uh, get into the box for the cross and get in behind the same as Bruma. And here you can see Malen on the ball, there's Bergwijn running, get in behind. The same for Malen, get in behind. The pass isn't good, but uh, you can see what I'm meaning with the get in behind. They have some lovely runs uh, when uh, they can. So that's it for PSV Eindhoven. I hope you liked it. If you did, don't forget to like the video, it will really help me if you will do that. If you're new to my channel and didn't subscribe yet, make sure you will do that also. And hopefully we will see you next time. Have a great day. Bye bye.